Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next video, what we have to do is we gotta subtract this expression here, so 6x squared y squared minus 5x squared plus 3xy minus 4 from the sum of these two expressions, 1 plus 3x squared minus 5xy and then 2x squared y squared minus xy minus x squared. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this wording and put it as a mathematical expression. So we're subtracting this from the sum of this. So I'm gonna first add these two, let's put this in brackets. So we'll have one plus three X squared minus five X Y. So we're taking this, adding it to this. And then from the sum of this, what we're doing is we're subtracting this expression and this expression you want to put that in brackets we're subtracting that whole thing so we're going to have 6x squared y squared minus 5x squared plus 3xy minus 4 like that right so putting this in brackets is super important because that minus when we distribute it in the brackets going to change all the signs Putting these in brackets, not as important because there's just a plus one in front. So nothing, no signs are gonna change here or no coefficients either. But thought I would put it in brackets just to further uh, put a little bit more detail into the wording. So from here, what we do is because there's only a one and a one in front, we could actually just drop these brackets. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rewrite it, these expressions. And then this expression here, we're going to distribute the minus. So we're going to have minus 6x squared y squared or, uh, plus 5x squared minus 3xy plus 4. So that negative gets distributed to all four components of that expression. So notice all the signs change. And then from here, basically what it's about is collecting and simplifying like terms. So the first set I'm going to deal with is the one with the highest degree. So notice that the highest degree expressions is this one and then this one, right? The degree is four of those. You don't necessarily have to go in that order. That's the order I'm going to go in. So we got 2x squared y squared minus 6x squared y squared, which would give us negative 4x squared y squared like that. And then the next one uh, is a degree of two. There's actually a degree of two with this and this. The x squared has a degree of two and the xy, because it's the one one here, and you sum them up, has a degree of two. So we could pick either one. I'm gonna go with the xy first. So we got minus five xy, minus xy, and then uh, minus three xy. So minus five, minus one gives us negative six, minus three gives us negative nine. So we'll have minus, 9xy like that. And then the next one would be the x squared. So we'll have 3x squared, positive 3x squared, minus x squared, plus 5x squared. So 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared plus 5x squared gives us 7x squared like that. And then we got the 1 uh, plus the 4, which is 5. Like that. And so this here ends up being the final answer. If this is a multiple choice question, this may be in a different order, this answer. These expressions can be in a different order, but whichever order they are, these are the correct signs and the correct coefficients that should be in front of these variables and the constant is five.